you might feel like we're done with Zoom and we're done with this virus. And um, I wish I could tell all of you that I can take this all away for you and make it all go away. And I'm so sorry um, that I can't do that for you. But what, there are things that we can do and that's what we're gonna talk about today of what we can do in um, our churches. So the alternative plan for VBS, um, most of you hopefully are on this because you saw that we sent out, the conference sent out a um, email blast and we had it on our Facebook page that there would be no in-person uh, VBS for, um, it, that is, oh, there's Penny. Thank you, Michelle. Did you help her? No. All right. I didn't actually. She must have got on by herself. I couldn't find her. Okay. <clears throat> okay. That's good. She got on. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I'm getting lots of texts of people wanting on, and I hate to get going without them. I'm so sorry. Okay. All right, I'm just going to head on over to our feelings. So we're just going to open with our feelings. And I think um, when we, when the news came out and we posted on Facebook, it was, um, there were so many feelings and I um, could say that I felt all of the same feelings everybody else was posting. Yes, um, has for always been my all time favorite before I was even, um, in children's ministry, I volunteered, and the only time I would volunteer with it was with VBS because it was such an important um, milestone for kids. It was such an opportunity for spiritual development that it was so, um, so the sadness and the disappointment and the loss and the summer, summer milestone being gone was is so so hard and I've also written down that some of you might be feeling you just have a weight load lifted I had calls but, um, before the announcement that people just felt anxiety about how am I going to create a safe space um, for 150 kids with working with volunteers and so they were laying in bed at night trying to decide when was the best time to have it and when should we move it and what should we do. Um, there's all those safety wor worries plus parents concerns and volunteers who say um, I'm so sorry I know I said I would volunteer but now I can't and you can have volunteers who say um, oh yeah we're totally doing this no problem so you 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 run the um, both of those feelings and some of you might be mad because you're feeling like you don't know what to do now and um, you feel that you might have been made to do something that you didn't want to do. And know that all decisions are made in the best care and love of um, all volunteers, all laity, all church members, all pastors, and our, most importantly, our children. So uh, before we move on to the feelings, I want you all to know that this um, Zoom conference is not a Zoom conference that's gonna tell you when we're reopening, the Zoom conference is not going to tell you, be able, I, I am not privy to that. Our bishop and our cabinet work diligently on um, all the information and deciding those things. Um, I um, am not going to tell you when you can be with your kids in any other ways other than how can we do VBS in a time where we cannot have in-person VBS. So that will be the tone and the direction of the Zoom conference. So um, there will be other opportunities to, um, to have a third Zoom conference where we can share ideas about what we're doing and what we have decided doing. But I'm hoping that after today's Zoom, you um, look at all your choices, that today you'll be learning about choices, all the choices that you could make and the ways you could adapt and what you could do. And then you go back home to your, or go back, go back and Zoom conference or have a, a, a phone conference. Uh, 
three-way, four-way call with your children's ministry team and your volunteers and talk about what you all can do to um, knowing what you know and knowing what's out there, what you can do to help them. So, hey, Melinda, before you go any further, yes, can I say, this is Michelle. Um, can you mute everybody again? Because we're getting... Yeah, from I had people, had people, and then they, when they talk, I can't hear them. So I had asked if everybody could mute themselves. So if everybody could click mute, because if I mute them, then when they talk, I can't hear them. So, sorry. I think we had something come on late they didn't know. So. Okay. All right. So this PowerPoint is about and this time together is about choices. You're, um, you can adapt your current VBS curriculum that you have to an online format. Online. Oh goodness, hold on, we're getting them. You can I'm just I'm so sorry, I'm not gonna go on. The people keep jumping on. And I just will feel like we're going to be missing people. So we have 45 on all right now. Vicki, mute your microphone. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and go. I think, of course, the time you stop and pause and wait for everybody to jump on, then we get a whole bunch of people. <laughs> Nobody's jumping on. All right, so we're going to have choices. We have choices. We can adapt your current VBS curriculum to an online fo uh, format and make Zoom small groups. Um, if you don't have the technology or the ability to do those things, we can do it low tech um, and you would pack up BBS supplies in a bag for pickup or if you want to drop off so you can see your families through a window and give them a wave and then set up phone calls. That's another choice. You can combine forces with other choices, uh, churches and break down um, the adaptations for the jobs and share with one another like you would your VBS. So we're going to talk a little more about sharing later, but um, when we combine forces, you might have a church that's really good at the music part and you might have a church that's really good at puppets and storytelling. And so if churches wanted to collaborate, especially within a district, that would be a really good way to utilize everyone's gifts and create a VBS that um, multiple people can use. So postpone VBS to a fall date. At this time, we do not have a date and which Church is going to be in session. I cannot give you any of that information, but you might have a fall break coming up, a long time, do VBS over a weekend. All of those are future options, but I cannot give you a time, a date, or when that would be okay at this point. But knowing you might. Some people love their VBS that they've picked so much that they just, they need to just, put it on the shelf and we're going to save it for next year because it's so good. So, and that you've done so much planning and you've done so much pre-ordering in this. So if that's the case for you, then keep that awesome, put it on the shelf and save it. And then today, as we talk, you're going to learn about other VBSs that you might want to, um, jump on or try or give a, um, in this, uh, altered state of the world of how we do VBS. So you might just want to do a little bit from each of these care areas and that's okay. So this uh, right in front of you, if you look, it says, why plan VBS when we can't be together? I had several people call and say, well, we're just not going to do VBS. If we can't do it in person, there's absolutely no point in having VBS. And, um, from someone who loves VBS, as I said at the very beginning of this, I get it that it is such um, it is such an amazing time and spiritual milestones and growing with kids. But if you look at these statistics, this is a study that came out. It's a survey, 
done um, by uh, Sorensen and First. And over 2,000 people were surveyed during the week of April 8th through the 12th. Now, our information about the world and health and this pandemic continually change every single day. But those 2,000, over 2,000 people that were surveyed April 8th through the 12th of 2020 with 23% response rate, this is the data that they gave. Um, this is their percentages. So look close. During this time of national crisis, what resources are you using at home to stay connected spiritually and support your family faith development? 75% said online worship. 58% said family games. 55% said family prayers at mealtime. 43% online check-ins with fit faith community, 37% checking in with sharing on your highs and lows, 35% Christian music, 31% family prayers at bedtime, 21% family devotions at Bible, for, or Bible study, 17% faith-centered videos, and 7% said we're having a hard time supporting our family faith development. If we look at those larger percentages, it tells us that back in April, we were still able, we're still able to reach people. People are still finding that a resource. Some of you might say, I'm having Zoom fatigue. I'm having, <laughs> this is too much. At this time, this is our only way to safely connect with one another, and people are still open to it. Just like anything we else we hold or plan people are people can choose to join or not but i think those percentages show us where we could fit vbs those are from 43 to 40 75 percent in there that they're still finding that valuable and i still think um that we could stick the vbs model into those areas. And I know most of you can imagine all of those portions of VBS um, fitting into worship, games, prayers, check-ins. So to the left, I've written our reasons of why um, we need to have VBS even when we can't be together. And it's because God created us to be connectional people connectional people that we are called to be together and there are ways to be together thankfully for us with our technology that we have so we need to to use that um, this is a time of isolation so many people are feeling pain from not being able to be with people we need to call and check on them and it requires us to reach out even more as a church more than we may have in the past because we just waited for them to come into our doors. So some of you may be thinking, I know, but my kids have so much AMI screen time right now. Um, I wanna tell you what we're doing in April and May, and April is when this study was done, people were doing AMI, but in July, there will be no AMI courses. There will be no classes online. And parents and their children are going to really have to figure things out because summer camps are closed. School, um, all school sporting events are closed and done. We can't do baseball and softball and all of those summer things. So we need to, I know we start to go, oh, it's too much, it's too much right now. But think about what July is going to look like. And it is an opportunity that we could do such an amazing job with a virtual VBS. So, um, so how to get started with a virtual VBS or an, a VB, I'm referring to it as VBS at home. So you're going to start it just as you would you, your normal way. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say that. Some churches still do um, a paper registration in the church narthex and you sign up that way. So no, we would not be able to do that. You could email. So 
a PDF if you'd like um, out to your churches for a paper registration. But there are wonderful um, free registrations. Some of your BB VBS kits come with it, but WUFU is one that you can utilize to um, register your kids and it, and it gives great online link that you can put on your church website, you can put it on social media, you can put it on, um, uh, um, you can text it to families that you have in your, um, in your phone, which I highly recommend doing that because we can still have, BBS is always an outreach to the community. <laughs> Please, when you send those links out, encourage people. Please share this link with whoever you know. They don't have to be a member of our church to take part in the VBS at home. This is a time when all children can hear the word of God and um, it can all be done at their own pace and their own time. During that WUFU or however you choose to register, you're gonna be sure that you wanna get their contact phone numbers and your digital, um, their phone numbers and emails. Because if you were to do a Zoom conference, you need an email and phone numbers. You need to be able to contact the parents about um, at-home VBS information. So this is also a time where you've had, since January, you've been organizing uh, volunteers to do uh, your decor and make things and your snack person and um, your music people and all the people that it takes to run um, your VBS. You most likely, if you take the um, at-home approach with what we're gonna give you, you won't need them to do as much. And so you could ask them, hey, volunteer, I know I had you down for snacks. How would you feel comfortable with a small group leader? It's so important. Um, the small group aspect of VBS at home is the connectional piece that we must have in place if you're going to do VBS at home because it connects people to one another. So you could ask your volunteers, hey, um, this might not be your gift or you might, this in the past said, no, thank you, I don't want to do this, but this is a really safe way for them to practice doing a small group of three to five kids in a Zoom conference, you might be able to cultivate some new volunteers um, for future VBSs if you let them give it a, a try this time. You might also have people that normally work during the weekday and say, I cannot do VBS, and now they're home, and so you could utilize them as well. Um, so assign them each three to five kids to call or Zoom. Small groups allow time for all to share. You're gonna send a link, or if you have low tech supplies to parents, and you're gonna have them, um, tell them to have their child view, which is the, uh, hopefully the video link, read or listen to a VBS before 2 p.m. I'm just throwing out numbers. Of course, you or times, you can adjust those to what fit. If some people have evening VBS and you want to do it all in the evening, that's completely acceptable to those that want to do it during the day. Each um, day, they'll have a Zoom. So, so many of you have already picked your week that you were going to do. Don't cancel that week. You could still, I mean, I suppose if you planned um, the first week of June, you may have to move that because in order to get everything in line and the information needed, you may have to um, have a little more time to do that. But um, I would definitely recommend um, uh, keeping your week, especially if you had already set it up for July. So, if this still isn't making sense to you, this would be a sample format of a letter. So I know it's so hard, um, um, but I hope this will all come together in just a minute. Um, 
a sample letter that would go home to parents would say something like this. I'm so excited for your child to take part in our at-home VBS, giving your child an opportunity to hear God's love for them in the songs, stories, and valuable connectional con conversations each day with their assigned small group leader. Your small group leader will need to prepare your child for Zoom at 2 p.m. each day of the at-home VBS. Of course, you can log on to VBS when it works for you each day. However, because in the heat of the summer, many play outside in the morning and come inside during the heat to cool down. So you may want to structure at-home VBS like this. 12 o'clock, the kids eat lunch. 12.30 to 1.30, they log in to their VBS for kids. Um, so I specifically chose this time because if a family has one or two electric um, devices and they are using it for their jobs, if we, um, if you're suggesting them to do that during the lunch hour, hopefully the parents can have a break and the child could utilize the computer or whatever digital device that they had. Um, at that time. So that's why I chose that time. You may choose what works best for you and your committee might want to come together um, and find out and survey uh, your um, families of what would work best. A 1.30, prepare your child for your Zoom call. So I'm kind of setting it up. I'm giving a structure to the parents of how this would look in their home. Granted, they can always do it their way, but you can, your def, the thing that they can't do their way would be when you're going to do your small group time. So you could say at two o'clock, the small group leader is going to call, or you could choose an after hours at 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. Uh, your small group leader is going to call and have um, time with your child. Another way to look at this is when you give them that 30 to 40 minutes, link of a video or VBS information, um, that gives those parents, that's about 40 minutes of like what they would let their kid have YouTube time and some quiet downtime. And then when you're doing their small group time, that gives those parents, the parents are there, but their child is listening and taking part in that with a small group leader, which is so very, very important. So if you only have a low tech opportunity, if your small group leaders do not have Zoom or their internet is spotty because there are places in the state that that is definitely the case. Um, you um, definitely are going to, have to work around that or teach people how to do um, three people on a if you have a smart, if they have a smartphone that they can do a conference call with three or four people or do Zoom on a phone, if that is still not an option, then um, you're probably just going to have to have your small group person individually call each person. And that is for the low tech option, but hopefully a majority have the ability to Zoom conference. Now Zoom conference is a, a wonderful way that um, children uh, can can see each other and talk to each other. So your small group time is going to be more the the valuable part of VBS when they're walking around in their little crews and they're meeting new friends and they're playing games together. You need to keep your small group time. It's it's not more instruction time. Your small group time is that visiting that social time that is taken away from when they do, um, when we have to do um, VBS um, not in person. We have to do a virtual VBS. So you would structure that call or that small group time like this. Hey, welcome to day one of whatever your theme is that you're doing for your VBS. Um, insert the slogan or Bible point for that day. Um, you'll want to do the same thing every day so there's structure to that Zoom call. You'll tell them um, that in order for everyone to be heard, you want to click and put your thumbs up and make sure everybody's on mute so we don't hear what's going on. <laughs> um, then you might ask them, what was your favorite part of today's at-home VBS? Um, 
And let the important part is each child needs to share. Everybody wants to be heard. And that is the part about being connected and knowing each other and loving each other is listening to one another. So that primary job of that small group leader is to listen to each child and give each person the time. Then you can open it up and let them all visit with one another. So um, you would recite the week's scripture together. And then if um, close with listening stones, if your volunteers are, are familiar with, or you've trained them in listening stones, or you would like to quickly be trained, we have a Zoom conference, a Zoom for that as well. But that if you did listening stones over whatever was taught for that day and asked them to their um, feelings about that lesson, it allows, the listening sense allows the children to connect to that scripture, whatever was taught. And you don't have to create something new for this small group. That is what I would recommend. And then you ask anyone who would like to close in prayer. And you might, the small group person might do it the very next day. But after that, um, hopefully you'll have children wanting to lead in a Zoom conference prayer. So this should take about 15 to 30 minutes. This, my friends, is the very most important part of um, an at-home VBS or a virtual VBS. So this is where Scott's uh, time comes in at the, um, he's going to start, it off, start us off. And I've made several references to, oh, this is, his, this is um, you're going to insert this link or insert this information. So if you've, um, any of the, if you've picked um, Pokesbury, if you've picked um, Lifeways, if you've picked Orange, um, Let's see who else has already, they've um, already announced that they are having uh, online links that you can click to for online VBS. So those are, are yours to use. If you want to do more of a low tech, um, Illustrated Ministry has, um, is coming out, uh, I think next week with theirs. So Scott, if you could jump in here and you want to share what Cokesbury is going to be offering everyone. Sure. Uh, thank you, Melinda. Um, and hello, Arkansas. It's good to be with you again um, after, after so many years. Um, let's see. So let me tell you about the Cokesbury Virtual VBS plan. So we, we know that every church is unique, but we had to pick sort of some audience groups of who we're serving. And um, so we know that one group is your content distribution pros. Um, you've figured out Zoom, you've figured out how to um, do online worship and that type of thing. And we, we expect most of these churches will create and deliver all content, all the video content to um, VBS at home users. Um, then we know that other churches, they've got some content distribution skills. Uh, they, they're, they're like me, they just, they just started to use Zoom a lot um, or other uh, conferencing software or how to play a video online for people. Um, and we figure you'll create some content, uh, create and deliver some video content, but you may need some content from us. Um, and then uh, the last group, and a lot of us probably fall into this category, we really don't have a lot of content distribution skills. Um, we, we need, and you're going to need us to provide all the video content um, provided and delivered by us. So what we've got to, um, how we're going to address that, we've, we've put together some components. Um, the, one I'm, the one I'm most excited to let you know about is the Amplify video. Muted myself. Am I muted? I, I was yep. going to mute everybody, and then I muted you. So I oh, OK. Um, 
so the one I'm most excited to let you know about is um, the Amplify um, Knights of North Castle VBS videos. There'll be one of these for each day. And um, instead of trying to remember it, I thought I would, I would be smart this time and tell you what, what's in that video. So these videos are going to have opening and closing assembly time for you, uh, complete with visits from the armorer and Sparky. Um, they'll have a Bible adventure video with follow-up Bible teaching, um, craft, science, and choreography demos uh, so you can dance along with those uh, music videos. And um, I think we're also going to have a little Bible trivia session in this video so that's that's a, a key component particularly if you're a church that doesn't want to create and deliver your own content uh, this will be available on the amplify streaming platform uh, so you know uh, melinda mentioned some churches have uh, or some families have device sharing situations um, Amplify is available. You can play that on Roku. You can play it, I think, on um, Amazon Fire and other, as well as on uh, tablets, smartphones, and computers. So uh, Amplify is, makes these videos, will make these videos available um, in a much easier way. Um, the second component and we figure a lot of churches will use this um, maybe every level and this is the at-home guides the at-home guides um, so they're going to have um, bible background for the families they'll have take-home pages um, that you would normally send home uh, they'll have directions for the crafts that are going to be in the videos so two crafts, the science, and the snack directions. Uh, they'll also have uh, reflection um, guide questions and activities around the Bible story. Um, reproducible fun pages and coloring pages, and then a closing or bedtime prayer for families. So that uh, can, go with, can go with the whole, uh, you could use this um, in your at-home pack or your take-home packs. Um, and uh, the at-home guides will also be available for the um, To Mars and Beyond program as well. And the other part of the, um, of the virtual VBS plan is if you are a church that, hey, we're good at, um, at producing content and delivering content, but we'd like some permission for reproduction. Uh, we've already put on um, uh, sharing guidelines um, are already available out on the Cokesbury VBS website uh, that give you guidelines on sharing all of our media pieces as well as the print pieces. Um, so, so we've made that shareable for you. So if you want to do your own Bible teaching, uh, your own Bible story session, you want to do your own assembly time, um, but you'd like to play the music videos or you'd like to play the Bible adventure videos, you've got permission to do that. I think that's everything. Um, that we've, we've tried to put together a program so that, um, so that you can, do just about anything you want to with VBS, make it very flexible. So this is super helpful because um, if you haven't tried Ampl Amplify, if you've never tried it, there's a free two week trial period. Is that correct, Scott? That is correct. And um, I can't tell you what the price is going to be yet. But I can tell you that it's a price that every church can afford for these videos. So uh, if I spilled the beans, if you figure that out, great. But um, I, can't, I can't tell you officially because I'm still, yes. uh, I still have a meeting with marketing after this today yes. to figure out how we're going to share the news. Yes. But, so please uh, don't, don't do anything that risks anything. But I do want you all to know that 
Um, when it comes to using Amplify, if for some reason you had used your two week free trial and then you didn't go sign up or you're a very small church and you're on a freeze, um, Jim Polk and I talked about, and he said that he would be fine. I would be able to offer some of, if you would, you'd have to contact me, but I would be able to um, buy you at least one month of Amplify or to get you signed up and give it a try. So I don't want anybody to feel that if they wanted to use that, they couldn't if for some reason they weren't able to, but I'm sure Scott also has fabulous things planned. So Scott, thank you so much. Um, do we wanna, does anybody wanna click unmute and ask Scott anything specific about, Scott, I know um, somebody asked, well, what if we wanna shelf our awesome Knights of the Castle because we wanna use it next North Castle for next year? Will we be able to purchase any materials next year? Will there be a carryover because of this or will it just be you have what you have? Um, our current plan is to offer Knights of North Castle again next year. Uh, so churches would be able to supplement and add to it. Um, I'd also add that um, some of the churches that helped us develop this plan said, we think we're going to do Knights of North, Casual, uh, North Castle, the virtual version this summer, and we're going to go live next summer. Uh, wow sort of sort of like i watched frozen and then i saw it at disney on ice there so, you go. <laughs> or i rode the frozen ride good deal does anybody want to unmute i can't see everyone there are like 45 people on this call does anybody unmute and ask scott any i mean when do you get the cokesbury vbs guy like at your disposal so does anyone vbs question for him unmute and give scott a ask Christy, this is Brenda Wright from Monticello First. Uh, this isn't for Scott necessarily, it's for you or him. The orange pages that I see to the left of the screen that have uh, bullets to tell us, you know, suggestions for the letter to send home and um, the guides, uh, where are those going to be available online once we're done with this conference? You mean like this particular slide in general? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, um, after last on Mondays, I sent it out to people, um, specifically, but I'm pretty sure I can put it as a PDF and it will be on our, um, children's ministry website at rumc.org. So, but Brenda, I am happy to just send that directly to you as well. So thank you. All right. Yes. Anybody else for Scott before we move on? Well, Scott, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm just going to keep moving on. You're welcome to stay or, or off to your uh, marketing meeting, whichever. But okay. we are so grateful for your work, and we are so grateful for um, Cokes Ferry um, making this simple for us. So Thank you. And um, I'll stick around until about 5 till 2, so you may <laughs> see me disappear in the end. Okay. All, All right. right. Thank you. So, um. So there is, life is again, all about choices. So some of you might want to bench uh, Cokesbury or you weren't using Cokesbury um, because you had chose a uh, group or um, one of the other ones. So if that is the case, then um, you can now go back to your team and decide, do we want to do virtual? Do we want to do um, use it once and use it again, or do we want to shelf something and put it back? So the other um, VBSs that I'm aware of right now that are doing exact, well, nobody has a platform like Cokesbury as far as an Amplify, but um, Orange has on their, um, they will be releasing on uh, um, YouTube. And they are doing the same thing that Cokesbury is doing as far as they're doing a virtual VBS. So you would be able to send a link to your families that has the songs and then it has the um, Bible story said in a cute little skit way. And then it has some activities. Most people aren't doing games um, per se, but as Scott had said, um, Cokesbury would be doing for their movement part, they'll be 
um, doing the dance moves and asking kids to get up and um, do the dance moves with them um, in their videos. So that will hopefully get more of that activity um, part in. So um, most are coming out June 1st. I think a few are on May 1st, but Orange is really big. Um, group has only released um, PDFs and has not talked about doing an online version or a virtual version where you could click a link and send it to your parents um, to have their kids view that. Um, but Orange, theirs is a focus. Lifeway is the construction theme and theirs is coming out in June 1st as well. And so everybody's trying to accommodate for our, our needs. So if you have a VBS that um, you've already chosen, we can go, you can go in and look. And if you need help with that, I'm happy to help you find where it says what you can use online. And so um, that, before we get to the original curriculum, I want to um, talk about making sure that your VBS um, they'll have groups, Facebook groups, and they will have on their website telling you what you can and cannot post. For instance, Orange said, uh, we pay our, our musicians are paid by the downloads. Please do not, if you've purchased our Orange or package, do not share the music, just don't send it out. Encourage parents to go to iTunes and download the songs. So that would be for anything. For Cokesbury, if you are doing an original curriculum and you're using music, encourage parents to go out and download that music for their, phone, um, for their kids' um, enjoyment and for them to learn the songs that y'all will be singing or um, sharing during that virtual VBS time. So we wanna make sure we look out for all of that um, with our copyright laws. If you have any questions right now, we have our communications. We have Dave Davis and Amy Ezel from communications. If you have questions, what is legal, what's not, you would just send them an email and you shoot them an email and tell them what you're thinking or what you're doing. And they can tell you, yep, you can do that. No, you cannot, <laughs> cannot, or oops, you probably better get this, um, uh, make sure this little thing needs to be um, evaluated before you um, send it out to parents. So just be very mindful of that. Which brings us to original curriculum. Some churches and um, write their own every year. It's been their tradition. Um, Sadie uh, Stratton is up in Northwest Arkansas and she's at Bentonville first. Hi everyone. This is Sadie. That's just her voice. You don't get to see her face. I'm so sorry. Um, but she um, has for the last four years, five years, have written her own VBS. And so you may want to um, do what Sadie's doing, or you may think what Sadie's doing is pretty cool. You don't have the technology or the ability or the talent or the time in order to do what Sadie's doing. So you would connect with Sadie and say, hey, Sadie, what do you got going? And the joy, another silver lining in this virtual VBS is Sadie would never be able to come to your church and do that VBS for you. However, this year, she could come to your church and do VBS for you virtually. So Sadie, do you want to share what you and your team have worked on and what theme you're going for and the big idea for your um, original curriculum this year? Yeah, I would love to. Thank you so much. This is a major joy of mine. It's a focus of my ministry. We do a mission-focused VBS every year. Um, we have a graphic designer that is a parent at our church, and so she does um, our logos, and then our worship leader writes original music. So we are really, really um, so excited that we can share this with everybody this year, everybody who wants it. Um, and so two things to note, First, the overall theme is going to be uh, the church is the people. That won't be the title because that's not real, <laughs> that's not real catchy. I'm meeting with my design team this evening to finalize the title and the exact activities. But our focus theme is going to be that the church is the people, not the building. Um, and then the other piece that you guys should be aware of is we are going to have a virtual option where it does have videos of us doing the lessons and leading the snacks and um, having our worship leaders lead songs. But we are also putting together a packet 
for families who decide um, that they either like to have a non-virtual option or they don't have access um, to reliable internet. And so it will have um, kind of like a lesson plan for each day, kind of like um, that day's at a glance. And so it'll have the instructions for an activity and the instructions for a snack and all that good stuff. So that will be available. Sorry, I'm wrangling children right now too. Thanks for your patience. Um, so that will be available both as a digital and as something you know you could print out mail to kids and they'll also be included in the VBS family kits that we'll have them pick up the week before. So we'll have a list of all the materials that you'll need, step-by-step um, -step lesson plans for the activities. So you guys could um, use our videos or you could take those lesson plans and record them, um, record yourselves doing those um, lessons and activities so that your kids can see your face and hear your voice and not mine. So we kind of have three different options for you. Um, and then I think Melinda's gonna get my contact info out to you and you can holler at me and we can collaborate. So thank you, Melinda. That is awesome, Sadie. I love that theme. That is so, so timely and perfect. Sometimes it's just perfect to, to write it in the moment. And I think it was annual conference last year. You were busy in the midst of putting your final touches on your VBS. And I was in awe of your ability to do that. So um, we thank you. And so you might have somebody in your district, um, in your church, that's a Sadie that can do that. But it but but why why um recreate the wheel why not just use everybody's talents because just like she said we are the church so we could come together so with that um if you're if that sounds interesting to you we don't have time within the confines of this zoom to go in and say i want to do that i want to do scott i want to do um i'm doing lifeway i'm doing uh i'd like to look at that original but we will be able to schedule a third Zoom in about a week and a half so that everybody can come back. And if you have stuff to share, it will kind of be like an all like, hey, you want to share? You want to learn this? What do you got? Or we want to say, I want to, Sadie, you want to hook me up? I want to know what you're doing. I already got an email from Paige Phillips in uh, Russellville said, hey, Sadie, um, you're my district coordinator. We want to um, we want to do this with you, and so they're already working together. So you um, can utilize our Facebook page or me or the upcoming third Zoom conference to connect with Sadie or to collaborate on who's doing what and how they're doing um, at home VBS, and we'll have that time. The next thing I want to talk really quick about, and I saw it on a discussion on Facebook today, someone saying that they were going to use Grow's um, free Deep Blue VBS. That is not legal. It is There's a cease and assist on that. They are not allowed to use that. So please, please, if you were planning on using that because you downloaded it when it was put out there and like, this is awesome, this is free, it would, it would not be legal for you to um, utilize that in any way, let alone putting it virtually out to your families. So there, um, and some of you are like, well, how do I put it out to my families? Well, some Amplify is easy, you can send them the link. YouTube, if you have videos that you upload to YouTube, you easily send them the link, or you can embed them on your church website, which if you need help with that, we have somebody in communications um, that can help you with that, Mr. Jacob, and um, that draws people to your uh, church's website as well, so they can see what else is going on, but you could have a children's VBS page where parents just go and click on today's VBS um, for the week that you chose to do it. Whew. Let's see. Okay. Now, here we go. So I want you to think about all these options with your VBS team and um, come back. But I feel that we are uh, missing an opportunity in July if you choose to do nothing. I think there are lots of creative ways where we can meet with other people um, and within our state. And some, some, there's some people not in our state that are on this call, so I appreciate them as well, and we want to always include them. And this is a time when the virtual allows us to connect with everybody. So I'm going to unmute and see if I can put 
see everybody. And so if you have, um, so um, any questions for me um, about, if I, I, I know I was talking really fast, or um, if, if you're wanting to connect with Sadie, then send me an email on that. But I'm going to unmute and see what I can do to help you all. Okay, I think I unmute everybody. So just remember, if you're talking, we can hear you. Okay. And does anybody have... I, Anything else? Cares, concerns, questions? Um, need for more resources? A VBS that is offering online that I'm not aware of? Everybody's just looking all cute. I'm I finally get to see all your faces <laughs> a little teeny bit. So nothing. Okay. Can, um, are we good on the fact that, um, you could, if you wanted to collaborate, if you wanted other resources, there will be a newsletter, your May newsletter. I'll be able to put in all the links. So I'll put in Amplify for you, I'll put in, so that you can get, I'll put in Orange, whatever you need, so that you can go, oh, that's what she said, that's that resource. I just encourage you to go back to your teams and talk with all of them about um, what approach, how you, what, what you wanna use and what approach you wanna take. So, any, anything else? Does meeting with small groups of children stay out of anybody or everybody good with that? Because I have an expert, Michelle Wilkins is right on here and she does small group with pre-K kids. Oh my gosh, is that a baby? <gasps> Maggie. <laughs> oh, hold the baby's face up. Let's smooch it real quick. Yo, <laughs> the camera off because he was... He was eating. So. Look at the baby. I love it. Oh, Maggie, thank you for shooting at the hair. All oh, the hair. Um, um, I actually do have a question. Yes, Maggie. Okay. Um, well, now I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay. I'll give you a minute and I'll let Michelle talk about doing her pre K kids. Okay? okay. Michelle? Okay. Um, well, we. It's like herding cats, but it's fun. Um, and the kids love it because it's, you know, for pre-K, they're not doing a whole lot of Zoom for school. So it's a time for them to kind of connect with each other. I guess you'll have some like crawling on the couch and, you know, doing crazy things. But for the most part, they, I, I got so many calls and texts from parents saying, wow, so much for, you know, connecting to each other. So, it was good. Um, we're doing Zoom by grade, and then we sometimes even break it down. We're a larger church. We break it down by gender. So um, they've been very successful, and the kids love it. So just be sure when you do your Zooms to do things that are fun. Um, they do, most of the grades do a lot of you know, online virtual school anyway, so keeping it fun and short is the, is the key. Yeah. So, and oh, also in your um, May newsletter, it will be coming out, I have Zoom guidelines and Safe Sanctuary on Zoom and how, what Safe Sanctuary looks like on Zoom. And that'll be coming out in May for you as well. So Maggie, did you think of your question? Yeah, um, and I think you might have answered it earlier, but are we going to have access to the slides that were in today's Zoom? Yes, yes. I um, have personally, um, yes, on Monday, I emailed them to anybody who requested them. You can just send me an email and I'll send okay. to Linda, um, dot shunk at arumc.org, but I will make it a PDF. And Jacob will put it on our website, on our children's ministry, arumc.org page too. So Thank you. I know, because I talked really fast because I was trying to get it all in. And then the beginning was a little bit stumbly because I was trying to get everybody on. So I apologize for all of that. That's okay. Thanks. Yeah. Anything else? 
Awesome. So can we just go close in prayer really quick? And then we will all um, hopefully join together um, for a third Zoom on how we can and who wants to work together and what resources you are willing to share. So, uh, Almighty God, thank you for um, these amazing, amazing workers. These people are your servants and they serve their children and the families in your church. Lord, help us to be as creative. Help us to have our hearts and minds open so that we can collaborate and do your work for your children. Although our hearts want to touch them and be together, we know that that day will come and that we can be creative in a time where we can't. Lord, I bless all of um, those here and all of those that are unable to be with us today. In your name we pray always. Right. Amazing people. Thank you so much. And I'll hope to see you on Zoom number three, sharing some good stuff. Thanks, y'all. We'll talk to you then. Bye. Take care. Bye.